Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide part three. So let's jump right into it. Now I've got 10 uh, fantastic facts, which is the latest travel news worldwide according to breakingtravelnews.com so uh, let's jump right into it now number one is the WTTC calls on the UK to offer global tourism leadership over 100 major travel and global business leaders uh, from airlines to airports to hotels to tour operators and travel companies have backed the unprecedented move so again I really hope um, it really helps those uh, companies uh, fingers crossed and the UK does offer some sort of global tourism leadership um, because I think it again it'll be a, a great for the UK but great for businesses not in the, only in the UK but around the world so number two is UK inbound urges tailor support for tourism sector. The UK inbound has released its latest business biometer results, incidating that the recent government stimulates designs to help businesses and the economy um, falls short. So hopefully there's more that say governments not only in the UK but say around the world um, can do more to help um, businesses around the world. Fingers crossed. Um, that way again more businesses are going to be able to survive. Number three, Cathay Pacific counts cost on COVID-19 downturn. Cathay Pacific unfortunately has reported a loss of $11 billion uh, for the first half of the financial year. Unfortunately, really hope the second half of the year um they can pull it back and bring it you know and get better fingers crossed number four aqua expedition is to return to operation this month um that's cruise news so um really hope everything goes as well and as safely as possible for the company. Number five is TUI secures another government funding as losses mount. So that's again, that's absolutely fantastic news for TUI. So thank you and well done to the government that um, is providing the funding uh, for TUI so fingers crossed they'll be able to keep going as a business now Abita urges refunds following FCO travel advance changes so which is a really good thing because many people such as myself are looking for refunds um, for their holidays and again, uh, again it's going to be a, 
are getting a lot better off for companies to give refunds as soon as possible so again it'll make customers more happy and again they may want to book again another holiday next year or when they feel ready to um, and plus it is again good for public image as well so I really hope Avatar really get the refunds sorted out as quickly as, as possible I know that it all takes time but as soon as people get the refunds then uh, the less likely they'll be making complaints and etc and number seven Barbados celebrates New Year all year round with British Airways flights so or a year round with British Airways flights that's fantastic for British Airways and Barbados um, as, a as a country so um, both company uh, one country and one company is winning there or um, it's just brilliant news anyway so and moving on to number eight Marriott Hotels unveils new hygiene standards so that's another brilliant thing so if hotels such as Marriott introduce new hygiene standards then it'll make people um, feel better about staying in um, hotel such as the Marriott groups and other groups of hotels and I really hope the meeting goes as well as possible now number five sorry number nine ITB community in Asia ahead of Singapore events and they're basically launching community events in Asia ahead of Singapore events so I wish them luck with that and finally last but not least United Airlines rolls out ultraviolet sea cleaning technology it looks absolutely fantastic so i really hope it goes as well as possible and um there's not any unfortunate breakdowns um so again it's another way of keeping everything clean as clean as possible so then um people would like to or maybe travel on the airline so everybody thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so also share and I'll see you in my next travel video which is tomorrow and it's going to be the latest travel news part four so please keep watching and bye for now thank you bye